All right, so for those of you out there that have an Astra or it may be a Mitel badged phone these days, specifically 6757i or 6737i, oftentimes you'll find that there's no audio output, the buttons don't work, some functions of those buttons may not work. These buttons, they're uh, dynamic, they change with uh, different displays and options that you've programmed them for. Sometimes there's display errors, or maybe the phone's just locked up and won't boot up. Rather than going according to some of the online tutorials and pressing one and pound during the boot up sequence, which knocks out the configuration, go ahead and just restart the phone. Now the way you restart the phone, you go to options, and it's going to be option six. Then you click on restart. And it's going to take a little bit to restart. It's going to gray out the screen, backlight goes dim, and then it boots up. And you'll see it go through the boot sequence. If you do the one and the pound, that's going to basically brick your phone. Oftentimes your phone is working fine, it just has a little bit of corrupt firmware in there, or, or somehow it got in a loop or something. But rather than doing the one and the pound, where you have to go and put the 57i.st file back in using a TFTPD64 uh, software or a TFTP server of some kind. Just do a restart, see if that helps it. If it doesn't, then you may have to go to the admin menu, which is option and then five. Default password on these is five twos, two, 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 two. And then you're gonna have to verify network settings. Uh, DHCP is enabled by default. In my case, I had to disable it. And then, of course, you're going to have to set your IP address to whatever you're using. Subnet mask needs to be correct for your network. And you have to give it a gateway. In this case, the gateway is the switch it's going to be connected to. So, dot one. After you make those changes, you still want to go and do an option six restart. Now since I didn't make any changes I'm not going to restart. At this point once it has an IP address assigned to it you can go to a web browser if it's connected to your computer and you can get this thing up on a web browser and set all the buttons the way you want. Just don't do a one and a pound as their first knee-jerk reaction. Try and reboot the phone, restart it first. 